At the 7th Commercial Space Summit Forum held in Wuhan on November 25, 2021, CASC showed that the Tingyun project had successfully completed the first flight verification of the modal conversion of China's first liquid rocket ramjet combination engine. At the 13th Zhuhai Airshow in 2021, CASC also exhibited a model of the two-stage orbiting space vehicle Tingyun project at the show. The Tingyun project is divided into the maximum flight speed of Mach 7 of the first stage, wide-speed domain vehicle and the cumulative feather reusable space shuttle composition. What does the frequent appearance of such an overly advanced and inconvenient model of the vehicle mean? Is it possible to understand the Tingyun project as a combination of hypersonic bomber and air-to-air -air bomber? On March 6, 2018 CCTV Exposure reported that the Aerospace Academy is developing a Tingyun project for round-trip transportation between heaven and earth, and can be importantly repeated into orbit. The Tingyun project can take off and land from Pudong Airport, and can carry both people and cargo. 2020 September 4th Long March 2F launch vehicle successfully launched, a line can be repeated to make. Our test spacecraft, the test spacecraft is either the airplane part of Project Tingyun or the airplane part of other reusable vehicles. 2020 September 21st, Xi'an Institute of Space Power revealed that the domestic new combined power engine in the machine first flight successfully. 2021 July 16th, Space Science and Technology developed suborbital reuse demonstration verification project carrier in Jiuquan launch the first flight was made at the Jiuquan Launch Center. In a related report, Aerospace Science and Technology said that the suborbital reuse vehicle it developed was too advanced to display. According to the media, Project Tengun is a combination of a large launch vehicle and a small spacecraft in orbit, a horizontal takeoff and landing round-trip system between heaven and earth, sometimes called the two-stage orbit TBCC spacecraft, which is a low-cost round-trip transportation between heaven and earth by means of two stages into orbit. According to analysts, the development of horizontal takeoff and landing space vehicles is an important means for China's future low-cost, large-scale development and use of space. China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation has said that its main goal is to design and build China's first horizontal takeoff and horizontal landing and multi-use air-to-space round-trip vehicle before 2030. You are expected to have 100 reuse times for communication engineering, as well as as, as a wide forgiveness and flight vehicle. The use of six nest fire impulse combination power engine can soar freely in zero to seven times the speed of sound, will be as raw three-dimensional second stage, in 2100 meters per second and 30,000 meters high in the sky to the vast Star River, as far as the second stage system is embedded in three rockets, which the main rocket in the climb section work. After the separation of the second stage to send her from the proximity of space into orbit, while the two negative rockets are responsible for the strip let again and smooth arrival at the intended location. Compared to the U.S. space company's reusable rocket system, horizontal takeoff and landing heaven and earth round trip vehicle has obvious advantages. The future of cargo or people can achieve flight oriented flight far faster than the current launch or rocket cycle. It is reported that the service life of the 10-gun project vehicle up to hundreds of times, both in flight costs and the whole takeoff, time is a generation ahead of the traditional rocket. At present, the overall development of the communication project is progressing smoothly, and what about September 2018? The projection project realized the combined engine modal conversion, and the first domestic flight verification is planned for the first flight test in 2025. From the model on display this time then, the Tingen project's first stage vehicle carrying the second stage airplane, taking off horizontally from the ground, turning on the TBCC turbine-based combined cycle power system, accelerating the first and second vehicle combinations to Mach number 6 to 7 or more, and separating the second stage airplane at a distance of about 30 kilometers from the ground. The second stage airplane, then, turns on its rocket engines and goes directly into orbit, while the first stage vehicle flies through the powered segment, glides unpowered, and eventually returns to the launch site to prepare for its next flight. USS-271 Blackbird's engine is a combination of turbojet engine ram engine, the engine at high speed. It closed inside to let the airflow bypass the turbine disc directly into the tail plus power combustion chamber, so its shape basically maintains the appearance of the aircraft engine. 
but communication engineering to combine the three engine working body. In particular, it is very difficult to combine the working system of rocket engines and ram engines. The combination of jet engines and ramjet engines has been explored by the United States, but the combination of rocket engines and ramjet engines worldwide, there is no precedent before. Rocket engine shape structure is completely different from the jet engine, the working principle it, and the working parameters are vastly different. Rocket engine to carry both fuel and oxidizer, combustion is usually a spherical rocket fuel oxidizer with an opening through the jet disc in the combustion of the top of the combustion gun, and then ignited. If it is to be made into a liquid rocket ramming combination, the oxygen inhaled by the engine ramming inlet must also be injected on the jet disc, probably the key here is how to make the air and rocket oxidizer use the same pipeline, so this should be a very high-tech way, at least now the Americans have not achieved. China in 2018 has completed the test vehicle of the rocket ram combination engine related to the planet, by 2030 when the Tingyun project of the round-trip system between heaven and earth can be deployed in practice. Tingyun project is part of the Five Clouds project of space science and industry, aimed at developing a new generation of air and space vehicles that can take off and land horizontally, and reuse many times, to achieve cheap, safe and convenient air and space round-trip flight but also a horizontal takeoff and landing, the second stage of air and space vehicles into orbit, but also a new aerospace equipment that no one has ever seen before.